This conference Indeed. will now be recorded. Can I start or? Yeah, Bismillah, please. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya Ali, Ya Nur Maulana, Shakari, Malusaini, Hazar Imam, the Global Chamaji Kul Mushkila Sankari, Nek Umedu Purikar, Afatu, Balawo, Bimario Durkar, Badaji Nek Umedu Purikar, Asanji Tasbi, Tojazumi Kabulkar, Bismillah, Hi Rahman, Hi Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. 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 Mushkil asan karo ya Ali. 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 Awal to, akhir to, zahir to, batin to, rama to, rayman to, rama to, rayman to, awal to, akhir to, zahir to, batin to. Raba tu rayman tu, Raba tu rayman tu, Awal tu, Akhara tu, Zahir tu, Batan tu, Raba tu rayman tu, Raba tu rayman tu, awal tu, akhir tu, sahir tu, batin tu, raba tu rayman tu, raba tu rayman tu, awal tu, akhir tu. Zahir tu, batin tu, Raba tu, rayman tu, Raba tu, rayman tu, Awal tu, akhir tu, Zahir tu, batin tu, Raba tu, rayman tu, Raba tu rayman tu, awal tu, 
आखर तो साहेर तो मतान तो राम तो रैमान तो शुक्र लीला वल हम दो लीला 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 कमर से शल कंटिन्यू और स्टॉप Yeah that's good thank you thank you shukran alhamdulillah <clears throat> subhanallah subhanallah shukran lillah alhamdulillah subhanallah shukran lillah alhamdulillah tamam sathiyon ko ya ali madad and thank you for joining us this morning let's start our part 2 of ilm and in need of the ilm the importance of the ilm in our tariqa with the blessed name of nur molana shah karim ul husaini hazri imam hazri imam ya molaye mehriban madad farma alayul qayyum ali allah madad farma علی اللہ مدد فرما علی اللہ مدد فرما علی اللہ مدد فرما یا مولا مہربان ہیلپ اس مولا ہیلپ اس مولا گائیڈ اس مولا یا مولا مہربان یا نور مولانا شاہ کریم الحسینی حاضری امام حاضری امام تیرا نام کتنا میٹھا ہے مولا یا مولا your blessed name is so sweet that whenever we recite your name our heart instantly gets filled with the love and the light ya mola e mehrban taufeeq taheed himmat wa yaari mola taufeeq taheed himmat wa yaari mola ya mola hamare kareeb hamare kareeb khade rehna mola apna mubarak हाथ हम गरीबों पर रखना मोला या मोला मेहरबान यू नो मोला आप जानते हैं मोला हम कितने गरीब है मोला कितने जरूरतमंद है मोला तेरे दर के गदा है मोला या मोला मेहरबान प्लीज प्लीज स्टे क्लोज टू अस मोला सो वी कैन लर्न so we can learn mola so we can learn mola ya mola mehrban taufeeq taheed himmat wa yaari mola tamam sathiyon ko ek bar phir ya ali madad and welcome today we will continue with our topic on the ilm today's part 
and all the friends that were with us last week. Remember a Farman in which Mullah says, it is the soul with ilm which will rise step by step. And today we have a Farman in front of us. We had end our previous session with a note that there are two kinds of Mominin, two kinds of Jamaat, two kinds of followers. And then we had talked about three kinds of Jamaat when it comes to Ilm. I just wanted to repeat that before we read this Farman. There is one who would say, I know everything, I do not need to learn anything. Then there is second kind of Jamaat, who will say, I don't know anything, and I don't care to learn anything. Jamaat ke andar do kisam ke mominin hai, or teen kisam ke mominin ilm ke lihaz se hai. एक जो कहते हैं कि हम सब जानते हैं हमें कुछ सीखने की जरूरत नहीं है दूसरे कहते हैं हम कुछ नहीं जानते हैं और हमें कुछ जानना ही नहीं है और फिर देयर आर थर्ड काइंड ऑफ जमात मोमिनीन फॉलोअर्स हु सेज we don't know enough or we don't know anything, but we will love to learn. We like to learn because that is the Farman of the Imam. Which Momin are you? Which Momin are you? Inshallah, we will fall under the great three. आज हम यहां पर तीसरी किस्म के मोमिन हैं कि जो कहते हैं हमें थोड़ा बहुत पता है या हमें कुछ भी पता नहीं है और हम सीखना चाहते हैं क्योंकि यही इमाम का फरमान है और याद रखें कि देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ मोमिन अकॉर्डिंग टू इमाम फरमान वन of the Zahir and one of the Batin. So there are two kinds of Mominin in this world. There are Zahiri Mominins and there are Batini Mominins. Recite this Salwat Allahumma Salli Allah Muhammad and Wali Muhammad. Imam Aga Sultan Muhammad Shah, Zanzibar, August 15, 1905 says, the first, those who are Zahiri Mominins are only happy here and they are content staying in this world. Dunya mein do kism ke Momin hai. Pele Zahir Momin hai. Jo isi dunya mein khush hai. Ultimately, they are buried here. Or wo yahin tafan ho jate hai. They are bound by space and time. And their abode is on this earth. Or wo vakt or jaga ki ked mein hai. Or wo isi zameen par rete hai. Then, there is second kind of Mominin, Mullah says, but the second kind of Mominins are Batini Mominins. They are such that they are always moving forward. 
they are always moving forward because they are batini momin. They do not remain still. जो दूसरी कोम किस्म के मोमिन हैं वो बातीनी मोमिन हैं और वो हमेशा आगे बढ़ते रहते हैं कभी भी एक जगह खड़े नहीं रहते हैं दिस मोमिन आर कॉन्स्टेंटली प्रोग्रेसिंग वो हमेशा तरक्की करते रहते हैं दोस्त मेन विल गो इवन हायर देन पेराडाइज मोहम्मद और वो जन्नत से भी ऊपर जाएंगे इफ यू रिमेम्बर आवर प्रीवियस फरमान रिफरेंस हैव नो इल्म सेज आई एम नॉट गोइंग एनी वेयर आई एम स्टेइंग हेयर बट द मोमन विद इल्म स्टेप बाय स्टेप विल क्लाइम टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप they are the one who will elevate themselves remember our subject is the importance of ilm in our tariqa and they are the one who have ilm who will understand the batin amongst the many examples we had used some of the example of the jamaat khana other day those who are zairi momin who has no ilm who are happy and content by the world what are their action what makes them zahiri momin what makes them zahiri momin because they see themselves more and more inclined in the worldly matter and they will find themselves only obeying the physical rites and rituals they have nothing to do with the batin the meaning the understanding the ilm the progress the elevation and they are happy remember it is not about anyone else but us because it really doesn't matter what who does what it only matters what you do and how you follow your religion according to imam's farman because imam again and time again have said given the farman guided us and told us that our tariqa is the tariqa of batin not of the zahir then ask yourself what am i doing which is a batin or batini am i just following the zahir meaning three time dua giving the son and enrolling yourself in chandrat madlas going to jamaat khana every day but that is the zahir of the tariqa that is not batin of the tariqa let's compare our action to non ismaili muslim they go to masjid you go to jamaat khana they recite namaz you recite dua they give zakat you give the son what is the different between you and him they are following the zahiri tariqa you are following the zahiri tariqa 
what is the difference between U and M? What makes you a Batini Momin? What makes you a Batini Momin? Imam says here that there are two kind of Momin, one who follows the Zahir. Are we those Momin who follow the Zahir? I remember sadly, unfortunately, how much our Jamaat loves Zahir and argue about the Zahiri rites and ritual. I am not saying the Zahiri rites and ritual are not important, but more important is the understanding, the ilm of the batin, and following the batin of our tariqa. I'm not saying it according to Imam's Farman. According to Imam's Farman, our tariqa is the tariqa of the batin not of desire not of desire so the question again comes what are we doing to follow the batin of our tariqa what are we doing to follow the batin of our tariqa and the answer is here that those momnin the second kind of momnin are the Batini Mominin, they are such that they are always moving forward. Question for us. Have we moved forward from the Zahir? Have we done anything different than yesterday? Have we done anything different than last year? Have we done anything different than what we were doing 10 years ago? We were reciting Dua 10 years ago. We are reciting Dua today. What have you done to move forward? If you say nothing, by default, automatically, we fall into category number one. Aaj se sawal hai, ke aaj aapne isa kya, kya kaam kya hai, ke aap kahen ke mein apne tarike mein aage bar raha ho kya aap aapne koi aisa kaam kiya hai jo kal nahi kiya tha aapne jo aaj dua padhi wahi dua aapne kal bhi padhi thi aaj aapne kaun sa aisa kaam kiya jo pichle hafte pichle mahine pichle saal nahi kiya tha pichle saal bhi aap dua padhe the aaj bhi aap dua pad rahe hain आज आपने क्या ऐसा काम किया है कि जो आप कह सके ईमानदारी से कि मैं अपने तरीके में आगे बढ़ गया हूं द बातिन मोमिनी दे आर ऑलवेज मूविंग फॉरवर्ड दे डू नॉट रिमेन स्टिल अगर आज भी हम वही शरीयत को निभा रहे हैं फॉलो कर रहे हैं जो हम एक साल पहले और दस साल पहले निभाते थे इफ यू आर स्टिल डूइंग एग्जैक्टली वॉट वी आर डूइंग टेन ईयर्स गो देन हाउ कैन वी से वी आर बात इन मोमिन एज पर इमाम विश आर वी सपोज टू फॉलो इमाम फरमान हाउ डू वी फॉलो इमाम फरमान we cannot without the understanding and you cannot understand without the ilm now ilm has become important to us to understand our tariqa so we may move forward these momnin are constantly progressing constantly 
you should be able to gauge yourself and say, I'm doing something different today than I done last year, 10 years ago. I'm much better today than I was 10 years ago. The last question remain from this Farman. And these are the men who will go higher than paradise. Ye wo log hai, jo jannat se bhi upar jayenge. Question is, jannat se upar kya cheez hai? Question is, what is above the paradise? How do I know what is above the paradise? What do I need to do to get above the paradise? Answer is ilm learn. Ilm learn. Ilm learn is the answer to your question. Without the ilm, without the learning, one will not be able to understand his this own conference will part. now be recorded. I'm sorry, I was cut off. So one without the ilm and without the learning of our the ilm and our tariqa will not be able to understand the question which are posed here. And that is that we should know what is the batin of our tariqa and we should know how to progress how to elevate and who can elevate higher and higher rank by rank every day those are the momenin with ilm they will progress every day now when we talk about the ilm, there are many, many kinds of ilm, but here we will talk about few of the kind of ilm. We are not talking about information and we are not talking about the general circular knowledge we are talking about ilm of the imam and we are talking about the batini ilm batini ilm i'm sure throughout the years especially in last two years you have seen many, many people, speakers, and you will find them everywhere on the internet, everywhere on the Zoom. The question is, are they one with bookish knowledge? Or are they with ilme laduni, the spiritual knowledge, the ilme imam? That is the question. Are they giving you something from the book which they have read? Or are they giving you something of the Imam's ilm, ilm al laduni the spiritual ilm? 
So now clearly we have two kind of speakers in front of us. One with bookish knowledge and one with spiritual knowledge. Then the question comes, what are the conditions to learn and understand the basic but true ilm? I hope that we understand our tariqa at least at the basic level. At least at the basic level. And what is basic level? That we know who is our Imam, why and what makes him the Imam, how is he selected and appointed to be the Imam, what qualifies him to be Imam? Am I asking too hard of the question? Or do we know the basic, the basic of our tariqa and the true ilm? Remember the question to self. Self-reflection is important, very important. Until we gauge ourselves and we ask these tough questions to ourselves, how would we know if we are standing still or do we understand the bathing of our tariqa? How would we know? So let's try to learn some new ilm today. The difference between the bookish knowledge and ilm al laduni What are the conditions to learn and understand basic but true ilm? Be able to read between the line. This is the key. It is not what is written. It is the batin which is for us. What is written? is for all, Mola Baba says. But the meaning and the tawil is for us. And that is, be able to read between the lines. So when we read Kinan, it is not what is said, it is what is implied what was not said. You want an example of that? Ask yourself honestly and raise your hand. Did you know that every Ginan are the spiritual experiences of the peer? So when peer gives us a Ginan, that is actually their spiritual experiences. That is reading between the line. जब हम कुछ चीज पढ़ते हैं, तो जो लिखा हुआ है, वो तो सब के लिए है. लेकिन उसका बातीन, उसकी तावील हमारी जमात के लिए है, हमारे लिए है. मुला बापा फर्माते हैं. तो जब हम कोई गिनान को पढ़ते हैं, कोई फरमान को पढ़ते हैं, तो जो चीज लिखी हुई है, वो तो सब के लिए है। इसकी एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं, कि मिसाल लेते हैं, कि जब हम गिनान पढ़ते हैं, तो क्या हम इस बात को महसूस करते हैं, समझते हैं, कि ये पीरों के रोहानी मुशायदात और उनका तजरबा है जो उन्होंने गिनान के अंदर लिखा है यह है वो चीजों को देखना समझना कि जो नहीं लिखा हुआ है उसको हमें समझना है 
اس کے باطین کے اندر میں اتر رہا ہے سیکنڈ فائنڈنگ دی انڈر لائن ورڈس ان چیزوں میں کچھ الفاظ وہ ہیں جو ہم ایک تصور دیتے ہیں وہ انڈر لائن ورڈس ہیں ود ان دی گنان ود ان دی فرامین ود ان دی قرآن ود ان دی علمی مٹیریل There are words which are underlined words which are supposed to give you a concept, a higher understanding. That's how you understand the true ilm. Then the third, getting inspired by the new ilm. May I ask you to self-reflect. Be honest to yourself. Do you get inspired by this ilm? I want to ask you today that when you listen to this ilm, you learn this ilm, so do this ilm inspire you? Do you feel happy? Do you have a new light in you? آپ کی عقل اور انڈرسٹینڈنگ اوپر جاتی ہے دی ٹرو علم شوڈ انسپائر یو شوڈ انسپائر یو شوڈ ان لائٹ یو اٹ شوڈ برنگ ہیپی نیس دیر واز دی تھرڈ point how do you know what is the true knowledge and how do you learn true knowledge how do you know the ilm imam now we are coming to what is ilm laduni what is ilm laduni let's learn that when inspired by a word or ilm when you are inspired by the ilm or a word in the ilm if you are inspired by it agar wo aapke andar khushi layi hai agar usne aapko enlight kiya hai then write it down reflect on it again and again and those who are intellectual will understand the depth in the words and will catch the truth in between the talk in between the talk as something must only be said in the well ye bahut bada concept na cheez aapke samne pesh kar raha hai I'm trying to present a deeper concept of the ilm. Those who are inspired by the ilm and by the words, what do they do? They will write down their word which touches their heart and they will reflect on it again and again. and amongst you who are intellectual aapke darmiyan mein jo aqal wale hain wo un alfazon ki depth ko samjhenge and the key word and they will catch the truth in between the talk aur wo ilm e laduni ko ilm e batin ko اور علم امام کو باتوں کے درمیان میں لیکچر کے درمیان میں پکڑ لیں گے کیوں کہ کچھ چیزیں ایسی ہوتی ہے جو بولنے کی ہوتی ہے لکھنے کی ہوتی ہے اور کچھ چیزیں ایسی ہوتی ہے جو نہ تو بولنے کی ہوتی ہے نہ ہی لکھنے کی ہوتی ہے 
جو عقل مند ہوتے ہیں وہ باتین کو پکڑ لیتے ہیں وی آر اسٹل ٹرائنگ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از علم لدونی روحانی علم وہ تاہیدی علم از دی اسپرچل نالج اینڈ انسپریشنل علم دس علم کین ناٹ بی لرنڈ کین ناٹ بی ریڈ دس علم ڈز ناٹ کم فرام دی بک بٹ آر ٹاٹ آر گیون فرام ود ان یور سیلف دی بکس اینڈ دی ٹیچنگ آر دی ٹولس کتابیں اور لیکچرس ایک ذریعہ ہے ہمیں انسپائرڈ کرنے کا دوز آر دی ٹول ٹو انسپائر اس دی بکس اینڈ دی لیکچرس بٹ دی روحانی علم و تاہیدی علم دی اسپرچل نالج اینڈ علم لدونی آر انسپریشنل علم وچ کین ناٹ بی لرن بٹ اٹ کمس ان ٹو یو ان ٹو یور باتین ڈورنگ ڈورنگ وین یو آر ریڈنگ وین یو آر لرننگ وین یو آر لسننگ دیٹ شوڈ کم ٹو یو دیٹ از اسپریشنل علم دیٹ از اسپریچل نالج دیٹ از دی علم لدونی وچ ول بی ٹاٹ وچ ول کم ان ٹو یو فرام یور باتین وائل یو آر ریڈنگ دی بک وائل یو آر لسننگ ٹو دی لیکچرس وائل یو آر لرننگ دی علم Let me challenge your mind again. Remember, there are things which can be said and there are things which should not be said, cannot be said. But I feel that you are not listening to me or you are listening to me, but do you hear me? Can you hear me? If you hear me, yes, let me talk hear you. To you. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. When you are listening to the true ilm, it should inspire you. It should enlighten you. And you should be able to feel the happiness That is true ilm. That is ilm al-Latuni. That is Imam's ilm. That is what I'm trying to tell you what ilm al-Latuni is. None other than that is ilm al-Latuni. That is Imam's true ilm. True ilm. Imam says, education is the purpose of understanding dunya and more important, understanding your deen to understand God's creation. When Imam says, learn, learn, learn. And when we ponder on ilm, 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 this is not so you can make some money. This is not so you have a seat, a name. This is there for you to understand your tariqa. In return, to understand God's creation. 
God's creation. So last thing we will do today, if you remember previous week, someone had asked a question and Nachis and Garib had said that sometime I agree not intentionally, may Mola forgive our sin, kabhi kabar hum jane bigger anjane me imam ko maak karte hai imam ke farameen ka mazak udate hai mula maaf kare anjane me karte hai ilm ke bigger karte hai ilm ko samjhe bigger karte hai hum kete hai main to mula ke farman ko maanta ho or may apni life ko balance kiye hue ho because imam say balance your life don't forsake deen for dunya and we say we are balancing and the most funniest one i have ever heard that i used to see this gentleman in jamaat khana every day all of a sudden he stopped coming to Jamaat Khana every now and then. So I asked him, I said, what is happening, my brother? He said, I am balancing my life. <laughs> I was like, what? He said, did you not hear the Farman the other day? He was telling me that, did you not hear the Farman the other day? Mullah said, balance your life. So now I come to four days Jamaat Khana, three days I socialize. I'm, I'm balancing my life. There is mocking Imam without understanding Imam's Farman. Who shaks keta hai ke ab me sirf char din jamaat hai nata ho, teen din chuti karta ho. Kyu ke apne sunani, molane kaha ke ab apne life ko balance kare, din o dunya ko balance kare. So I four days in the morning, three days I socialize According to Imam, I'm balancing my life. Imam ke farman ka maza kuraya ilm na wone ki wajase. Ilm na wone ki wajase. So let's take our test. If you have a paper pencil or if you can calculate in your mind Let's take a test. Are we balancing our life? Are we truly following Imam Farman? That is my question. Honestly, honestly, okay? So let's, if you wanted to unmute, you are welcome to unmute and join me in this exercise. All right, so let's do this. Tell me, Tell me, are we balancing our life? So how much time do we give to Imam and our Deen? And we will put that in our green light. So let's say every morning we wake up seven o'clock in the morning. And let's say some of us go to Jamaat Khana and we go to Jamaat Khana two hour, all right? Four to five. And we go to Jamaat Khana every day. Or we wake up, we wake up for Ibadat every day and we give two hour in the morning for our Deen, our Dua and our Ibadat. This three category, Deen, Dua and Ibadat. This three category right here this three okay how many hours do we have in the Deen so far two hour so far two hour then we go to Jamaat Khana every day around seven o'clock all right so let's put one more hour 
for the deen, dua, and ibadat. Let's give the benefit of the doubt. You also do the khidmat, right? You do the khidmat. And you go to Jamaat Khana for two hours in the evening to do the khidmat. How about for the benefit of doubt, we give one more hour in the morning khidmat. So let's add a couple of more hours. If that is that we are doing khidmat every day, we are getting up in the morning every day, we are doing our deen, dua, ibadat, and khidmat. And khidmat. How much, how many hours do we have now? Total in the green. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's say, let's say you are a very righteous, good momin. And you are also helping others. Let's say, how many hours would you like to add to this khidmat, honestly? Average, one hour a day, or not even one hour a day? We don't go help people every day, do we? Unless, you know, why not? Let's give a benefit of doubt and say, we giving one more hour, hour for the helping others. Now we are completely done with it. This conference will now be recorded. Ya Mola Madat Farma. Ya Mola Madat Farma. Ya Mola Madat Farma. So we are back online again. So we were talking about that we have completely done with our green line, which is our deen, our dua our ibadat, even our khidmat, even our helping others. We are completely done with this. Is there anything else can we add to this green light? How about we give credit to our ladies? Our ladies normally do 12 o'clock noon tasbi. How about we give them that one hour saying that they do their more afternoon tasbih every single day. Now we have seven hour of green light, seven hour. 
seven, right? So we can only come up with seven hour of green. For deen, dua, ibadat, khidmat, and helping, including our 12 o'clock we. How about we give more credit to ourselves, more than we deserve, rightly said. How about every night before we go to sleep, we do some tasvi also. How about we add one more hour? Let's give more credit to ourselves than we truly deserve. All right? So now we have eight hour. Eight hour. Show me where the balance is. No balance, right? Because rest of the time we give to dunya, we give to sleep, we give to work, we give to our social life, TV, etc. Eating, taking shower. Where is the balance? Without the ilm, without the ilm, one cannot balance his or her life. Without the ill, one cannot balance his or her life according to Imam's Farman. So what do you need to do now? Tell me. You need to learn. 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 Mola Baba says in his Golden Jubilee Farman in Garden Jamaat Khana, Karachi. In Golden Jubilee Farameen, 1997. Learn, learn, learn. So now let's see can you and me together with the ilm? With the ilm, can flip this chart? Can we make it balance with this chart? With ilm, how much do we have so far? Eight hour. Can we change this chart with ilm? Let me show you. Join my hand. Let's change this chart. According to Imam's Farman. Imam's Farman, okay? The Farman that you learn and understand with Ilm. With Ilm. With Ilm, you can change this chart. Let's change this chart. With Ilm. That is the importance of Ilm. When we don't understand, when we have no ilm, when we have no concept of what Mullah Baba is telling us, we have no understanding of the Farman. What do we do? In the ignorancy, we mark the Imam. Jab hamare paas ilm nahi hota hai, jab hum Imam ke Farman ko nahi samajte hai, to by mistake, Unfortunately, unfortunately, hum imam ki mazaag udhate hai. So today, with ilm and understanding, and going forward, if you learn what we learn today, you will be able to balance your life according to imam's farman according to Imam Farman. Let's balance the life. All right? Sultan Muhammad Shah Salvatullah Alayhi, may our soul be sacrificed to their Imam, says, those mu'mineen who sleep with remembrance, with tasbiyat, with zikr of the Imam, we will count their sleep in ibadat. Warlog Joe. Tasbi karte away 
امام کو یاد کرتے ہوئے امام کے ذکر میں سو جاتے ہیں مولا فرماتے ہیں میں اس کی عبادت بھی میں اس کی نیند بھی میں اس کا سونا بھی عبادت میں کاؤنٹ کرتا ہوں وتھ دس انڈرسٹینڈنگ لیٹس سے وی سلیپ ایٹ 10 او کلاک اینڈ وی سلیپ انٹل 3 او کلاک ان دی مارننگ ہاؤ مینی اور ڈو وی ہیو ناؤ ریمبر بیفور وی ہیڈ 8 اونلی Let's count. 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9,10,11,12,13. Remember we had 8 before. So now we have a new count. 13. What happened? Did we do something different? What changed? My friends, what changed? How did we balance our life? Did we do anything new? Only thing we did with the ilm, we understood Imam's Farman and we took two of the Farman, one of the balance of the life, one of the Zikr, Tazvi, Remembrance, before you sleep before you sleep do you see with the ilm and understanding by learning how important is the ilm in our tariqa quickly without doing any extra effort or did we give some extra effort we join this ilmi class today you gave your one hour to the ilm in return you were able to balance your life according to imam farman that should do what to you tell me what this should do to you when you are inspired by a word or ilm you should write it down you should reflect on it again and again remember this and those who are intellectual amongst you they will do what they will catch the truth between the talk what did we learn what did we just learn ilm is very very important in any tariqa especially in the tariqa which is our tariqa through ilm we can follow imam farman because we will be able to understand imam farman and we will be able to balance our life according to imam farman now we are in the green inshallah next week we will go even further on this chart and see how do we apply because just listening doesn't do anything if you just listen and don't follow it will not do anything for you we must listen we must understand we must learn and then we must follow otherwise khali apna ek ghanta idhar aake dene mein koi farak nahi padne wala hai jab tak ki hum ilm ko hasil nahi karte hain usko samajhte nahi hain aur us par amal nahi karte hain to kya fayda we must receive ilm we must learn we must understand we must follow then we can say we are inspired by the ilm it has touched our heart and we have gone into the depth 
understanding of what we have learned. Let's stop here so we can open the floor for comments and questioning. Jika. Uh, Jesus, subhanallah, sir, subhanallah. Uh, friends, please share your questions in the chat. So, sir, we have one question right now. Friends asking, why is there a need to have implied knowledge versus making it clear for all to follow so all can benefit? Why the need for implied and deeper meaning of ill? Can the true ill be available to all for their benefit? Very good question. I'm very impressed by this question. Great, good job. That is against the human nature. That is against Allah's sunnah and habit. It goes against every single thing that we see around us. Let's take some example. Look at the Ginan. Look at the Quran and look at the Farman. And then look at our worldly way of life. The schools and colleges are for all the humans. But who receives the knowledge? One who admits themselves into the school. Aap dekh rahe hain dunia mein ke school hai, madrasa sab ke liye hai. Lekin ilm ko nasil karta hai. Jo school mein apne aap ko enroll karta hai. Second tier, second level. Ek aur bulande ki taraf aate hai. Among those who enroll themselves in the school, who truly learns? Does every child who enrolled himself or herself into KG, nursery, first grade, and 10th grade, do they learn? Or amongst them, there are few who learn other past time. Kya sab bache jo school jate hain, wo pad likkar baar nikalte hain? Ya kuch pad likkar baar nikalte hain, aur kuch apna wak zaya karte hain? You will say, that there are few who truly learn other just past time. Hamare tariqi mein bhi yehi hai. Aksar ismaili jamaat hain jate hain apna time pass karne ke liye. I'm sorry to say my apology. Please forgive me. There are so many who comes and listen to the knowledge, to the ilm, but they are passing their time. They are not learning anything. I'm sorry to say that. Let me remind you of Imam Surman. So you don't think that Aziz Sir is saying something from himself. I'm not saying anything from my heart. According to Imam Surman, 1945 Mission Conference, Africa. Imam says, there are amongst you who are ignorant of their tariqa. Aap mein se wo log hai jo apne ilm ke maamle mein jahil hai. You know who Imam was talking to? Not you and me. You know who were present at that time? Elite, chosen, scholars, bhagat of our time but imam said you are ignorant of our tariqa aap apne tariqe ke bahar maamle mein jahil hai you know why imam said that imam said there are many amongst you who do not understand your tariqa kyun jahil hai kyunki aap apne tariqe ko nahi samajhte hain you have enrolled yourself in Ismaili Tariqa in the name you are Ismaili, but you do not understand our Tariqa. To answer your question, Ilm is implied because Ilm are only for those 
who are paying attention. Enrolling yourself is the first step. Listening is the second step. Third is understanding. And the fourth is applying that ilm to yourself. Pele up class me ate hai. Pir up sun te hai. Ye to sab karte hai. Aap me se kush usko understand karte hai. Usper gor karte hai. Usko lick te hai. Usko samaj te hai. Bar bar usko dora te hai. Pir usko apni zindagi par apply karte hai. Those are the one ilm is for. Ilm is not for all. Let me end with this Farman line. What is written is for all. The Batin is for us and our Jamaat only. G. <laughs> so we don't have any questions in the chat. Friends, if you have any questions, please unmute your device. Yali Madad, sir. Yali Madad. Sir, you explained that you have balanced life. How to do it? Yali Baba's commandment. Two commandments you have taken with me. So then you said that last time you said that the intellectual will be read between the lines. So this time you have to tell us, sir. One time you have to teach us how to do it. Oh, you see how I dearly love all of you because you truly want to learn. You give your one hour and you are one who truly wants to learn. So, Jab Imam Farmate, Abli life ko balance karo. Let's start from here. Or Jab Imam Farmate, ke Jab Ab So Jao. तो तस्वीर करते हुए गिरियाव जारी करते हुए सो ताकि आपकी रात आपकी नींद भी इबादत में काउंट हो तो लेट्स टेक दिस टू फरमान एंड सी हाउ डू वी रीड बिटवीन द लाइन ओके वी बाय जस्ट दिस टू फरमान सो इमाम से बैलेंस योर लाइफ एवरीथिंग यू डू एवरीथिंग यू डू and remember, I said next week we will look at the chart further. And you know what my intention is? To make the chart 100% green. No red will be left in the chart. No red will be left on the chart. You know how? We're going to read between the lines. So when we say, and when Imam said that even the sleep can be your ibadat. So what did we do? Number one, we just did not sleep. We did the tasbi before we sleep, right? Before we slept, we did the tasbi. But then there are people who sleep the sleep of an ignorant. And those are the Mumneen who sleep with enlightenment. So which sleep will be counted as Ibadat? Read between the line. Which sleep will be count as Ibadat? Read between the line. You who are with the ilm, with the enlightenment, when you sleep, your sleep will be counted as ibadat because you will not sleep like animal, like ignorant. That's why I gave that third firman. That amongst you, there are who are, are ignorant because they do not understand your religion. Did you read between the lines? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Subhanallah. Sir, so, shukar, shukar. Shukar alhamdulillah. So every act can become ibadat. 24 hours, whatever we do, right, sir? And we will learn yes, every yes. single thing. Because that is all ilm is about, right? Learn, learn, and learn. Inshallah. 
this is going to be a long journey on the elm. It's going to be a huge ladder we're going to climb on the elm. At the end, we will find ourselves at the top of the ladder of the elm with the elm, knowledge, understanding, and then when we apply that to ourselves, spiritually, we will elevate as well. Ilm wise and spiritual wise, we will elevate ourselves. G. So we don't have any questions yet in the chat. Uh, friends, anyone have any questions? Please unmute your device. Any comments, any question? It can be just a general comment if you like, you know, what you understood or something that you'd like to learn further or a Furman line or word which we did not catch or understood. Uh, yeah, Ali Madad, sir. Yeah, Ali Madad. Ek tarika ye bhi hai na, like, uh, agar aap sara din bar zikar karte raho koi bhi, so that's also an ibadat act of ibadat, like, we will see count ho sakta hai. Definitely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, sorry. So, sorry. You can see we are already reading between the line. Uh, G, we have two unmute. I, I, Dr. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I just missed what the my sister said just a momentary moments ago. Oh, gee, she said, according to Imam Farman, we're supposed to remember him whenever we have a chance. So, other word, if we are reciting or remembering Imam all day long, just like before we sleep, then we can count those also as ibadat. That's what she was saying. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Gee, Dr. Zaib, you were trying to say something? Yes, Yari sir. Uh, yes, having a personal comment, I think hearing the Farman one time is never enough. The more often we read or more often we hear and we have the Nia, then Imam lets us know what the meaning is and then that farman or that ginan or that piece of film you feel that was for your guidance and Come then on, you yeah. internalize and use it for action just a simple absolutely. comment absolutely absolutely so reading farman again and again pondering on ilm again and again listening to the lectures again and again making notes of the things that you liked and going back and reflecting on it again and again is very important in the journey of the ilm. SubhanAllah, Dr. Sahib, thank you. Any other comments or question? Yali Madad. Yali Madad. मैं ये सोचती हूँ कि अगर हम जॉब पे जाते हैं और अगर हम ईमानदारी से उस जॉब को करते हैं या अपने टाइमिंग्स में हम कोई गलत काम नहीं करते हैं या उस दौरान भी हमारे ज़हन में जिक्र चलता है तो ये भी इबादत है यहाँ तक कि अगर हम किसी से घर में बात करते हैं या किसी के साथ मुस्करा के बात करते हैं या किसी की कोई हेल्प करते हैं ये सब चीज इबादत में शामिल हो सकती है आई थिंक वेरी गुड ये बहुत अच्छा सोच है इट्स अ वेरी गुड थॉट इंशाल्लाह नेक्स्ट वीक आई विल लाइक टू ऐड टू योर कमेंट वन मोर कमेंट एंड यू कैन सी हाउ कैन यू कन्वर्ट योर डेली लाइफ योर वर्क इवन योर जॉब इवन योर कुकिंग into ibadat shamim thank you so much ji as you sir i have a comment ji ali madad 
Well, for me, I have forever and ever. I've been reading, listening, and internalizing whatever I read. And I also have an inner voice from Mola Baba explaining a Ginan verse that I read over and over because it touched my heart when I was sitting in Kane for the first time and I heard it. And then I tried to find the lyrics, try to understand what it is. And then Mola Baba is also explaining to me because at the end of the day, the biggest thing we have to remember is we have the whole world around us, but Mola Baba spirit is also with us, within us. So he's always there. He's always there with us. This is my understanding. Thank you. And Yali Madat. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. Thank you for sharing your inspiration. G. Yali Madat, a comment? Yali Madat, G. Um, so a comment to say that Ilm, and as you begin to or are on the wavelength or vibration of Ilm, then that connects to the divine intellect automatically. And automatically, the knowledge comes from within. As you go through your day or night or wherever you are, soon as you are connected to that divine intellect, which we all can, then the knowledge comes from everywhere and from within from within subhanallah yes but but this it's the strength of that vibration so the more you engage in the in spending more time or incorporating more of your time in remembrance the more that intellect you have access to subhanallah and through that intellect more comes to you. So, so what you just said, validate and verify the initial point we made at the beginning of the session that not just bookish knowledge, but when we listen to the ilm of the Imam, which inspires us, mm -hmm. what you just said, then the, it will connect to you. Correct. To receive the inspiration within yourself. SubhanAllah. Very good understanding and comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. G. Any other comments, Kamari Sahib? Any questions? Anyone? We can take one last question before we stop. There's nothing in the chat yet. Okay. Anyone would like to make a comment or question? If not here, inshallah, we will continue next week on the third part of the importance of the ilm in our tariqa. Thank you, everyone. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Thank you. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad sir, Mola Sukhi, Salam Batabad. Amin, Amin. Yali Madad. Yali Madad, may Mola bless you always. Amin, Amin. Yali Madad. Yali Madad sir. Yali Madad, Mola Tamayin, stay welcome. Amin, Amin. Thank you, Mola. Thank you. Yali Madad, Yali Madad. Shukran Allah, Alhamdulillah. Shukran Allah, Alhamdulillah. Shukran Allah, Alhamdulillah.